Hey, what's up, guys? It is Luke Beller. So as most of you guys probably remember, um, how can we not remember? David Bottiari tearing his ACL last December, which was a very, very sad time. You know, pretty soon after signing him to that four-year, $105 million contract, David Bottiari goes down, tears his ACL. And so with him tearing that, you know, near the end of the season in December, there have been questions, you know, whether or not he will be ready to come back um, at the start of the season in 2021. Um, if we sort of take a look at sort of how ACL tears generally, sort of how long they take to heal, I was doing some research on Google, came across this medical site called like originx.com. It says here, if you have surgery, what will your torn ACL recovery time be? So he had surgery, so this sort of applies to him. It says in one recent study, it took NFL players 50 weeks to return to play after ACL and ACL surgery. Another study looked at an accelerated protocol, trying to get athletes back to sports more quickly at six months and found that only 19% could get back that quickly. Hence, despite what some surgeons state, it's very unlikely that you will be back playing sports at six months if you need surgery. So according to this, on average, at least from whatever information they have, it has taken NFL players about 50 weeks. So I mean, basically a year, 11 and a half months to come back for an ACL tear. That does seem to be, I feel like longer than David Bautiari, you know, will actually take to recover. Obviously, we don't exactly know. And um, there is some more news regarding his situation. Gudikins came out, sort of talked about it recently. Um, so I'll cover that in this video. But if you guys are new to the channel, I put up Packers content almost every single day. And with the draft coming up, I'll be putting out videos for every single draft player or draft. What am I saying? I will be putting out videos every time Packers draft a player, all that news that comes out. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And also, if you guys do have Twitch, I've been streaming recently. I'm starting to stream there. Uh, username is Luke underscore Beller on Twitch. I'll link that in the description below as well. So taking a look at sort of what Gudikins had to say about David Bautiari. So it comes out from Packers.com. Sort of they, they had an article sort of noting what he said in his press conference about Bautiari. So here's from um, Packers.com. It says Gudikins didn't put a timeline on the veteran left tackle's return in 2021 from his late December injury. But when Bautiari left Green Bay three to four weeks ago, he was way ahead of schedule. Regarding the possibility of Bautiari being ready for week one in September, nothing would shock me, Gudikins noted. So supposedly... When Bossiari left Green Bay, he was um, way ahead of schedule, which obviously that is very, very good news. The fact that Bossiari is ahead of schedule. The question still is, you know, will he be back in time to start the 2021 season? So if David Bossiari were to come back beginning of September, you know, when the season starts, he would definitely be, um, you know, he have healed way quicker than on average NFL players have healed in the past. As I said, 50 weeks. If he did take 50 weeks to heal, I mean, what would that put him in? Coming back in like November, into November, December, which obviously we don't want to have to wait that long. Um, so it seems that Gudikin says he's way ahead of schedule, but nothing would shock him. Um, you know, so there's a possibility that maybe Bautiari will be ready to go um, when the season actually starts. There was a video that came out recently sort of showing Bautiari. Aaron Rodgers was in some VR headset. I don't know if he was like boxing in VR and Bautiari was just like messing around with him. But Bautiari is like moving around. He looks pretty like, I mean, he was moving around. His leg looked fine. Um, he looked to be doing pretty good. So maybe he comes back, maybe he doesn't. And so with Bautiari being injured, you know, one of the big topics have been, what are the Packers going to draft in the first round this year? And one possible, I think, area could be tackle. Um, as I talked about in yesterday's video, um, sort of the needs that I think the Packers have, potential guys that could draft in the first round. Um, but it does seem like tackle could make sense, partly because of Bautiari. Obviously, he will probably come back pretty soon into 2021 season, if not the beginning. Who knows exactly? We don't know the exact timetable. But even if you were healthy, we got Billy Turner on the, on the right side um, of the tackle position. But outside of those guys, we just don't really have too much depth at tackle specifically. So I do think it could make sense um, to have another tackle to come in there and, you know, sort of have some depth, possibly fill in for Billy Turner in the future. Plus, if David Bautiari isn't ready to go, it will be nice to have another guy who come in, possibly fill in, at least have, you know, some more depth on the offensive line. Because obviously, the offensive line is one of the most important, you know, positional positional areas on the field. Obviously, with Aaron Rodgers being back there, we can't have him getting injured, getting him smacked around. Plus, the running game, obviously. Everything sort of flows from how good an offensive line is. So I do think that could make sense. But I just wanted to come in here and let you guys know that update that he is ahead of schedule, which is very good to see. And there's a possibility he comes back to start the season. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, the draft is coming up only like, what, like two days away. Pretty exciting. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.